For the weekend, nothing beats a roast. And in Venezuela, we have asado negro, a round roast with white rice and tajadas. Tajadas is a staple in Venezuela. They're sweet, ripe, deep fried plantain. Olive oil, and then my veggies. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit. I'm gonna show you the roast. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and red. See that? That's what you want, a nice rump roast. And in Venezuela, we like our asado charred on the outside. So asado negro means asado is roast and negro is black. And to tenderize my beef, I'm gonna make a little marinade. Nice fresh oregano, some thyme, some nice garlic, of course, a bay leaf, salsa inglesa or Worcestershire sauce, and of course, generous amount of wine. Olive oil to top it all up. Some sal. And pepper. This is such a popular dish in Venezuela. I personally grew up eating this stuff all the time. I'm gonna put it in the fridge so it marinates. This is crystallized cane sugar juice. And now I'm gonna smash it. Ready? Here we go. Nice. See, it's almost like brown sugar, but it's more raw. And now for a little bit of black magic. Some olive oil, and then the secret ingredient, papelon. A little bit more of olive oil. And this, I want burned, charred, completely black. That's the whole essence of asado negro, that it's completely burned. And I let that happen. I'm gonna take my marinade out. Oh yeah, look at that. The meat has soaked up all the flavors. It's nice and tender. It's ready for my pot. Boom. Here we go. Yeah. See that? I want to cover it with the papelon. That caramel is gonna stick to the meat and it's gonna make it nice and black. So there's a rumor or a myth that says that asado negro was actually born when a maid burned the dinner for a wealthy family in Caracas. That's what they say. I don't know. But I tell you, what a delicious mistake. See that? Nice and burned. The caramel is charred. See the caramel dripping down? Okay, now it's time for my sofrito. Ah, uh, yeah. And of course, the marinade. All the flavors and the juices. A touch of Marsala wine. And to top it all off, some beef stock. This is gonna cook down, the liquid is gonna reduce, and it's gonna be so good. Ah, look at my roast. It's ready to go. Nice and tender, look at that. Yeah, all that caramel. I'm just gonna set it aside so it rests for a little bit. Mmm, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna cover it here for a little bit. And now, I'm gonna work in my sauce. I'm using a submersion blender. Check this out. 
so much flavor in here. Like you get the marinade, the wine, all the juices of the meat. Oh, and especially the caramel of the papelon. I don't really want to lose any of that. Okay, that's ready. My meat is resting. Now I'm gonna work on my tajadas. And tajadas are sweet, ripe, deep fried plantain. They kinda look like a banana. They're actually cousins, but they're not the same. You have to fry the plantains or cook them somehow before eating them. See that, nice and golden. All those sugars have crystallized. Uh, Venezuelan classic. And now for the moment I've been waiting for. Ah, uh -huh, look at that. Look at that roast. Ah. All the juices, all the flavors. I can smell the caramel. Oof. Yeah. Mm. So good. The meat is nice and tender. The caramel is there. The sauce is nice and thick. This dish right here takes me back to my school days. I remember just coming from school at almuerzo time, at lunch time, and it would be just the smells would be in the house, and my mom would be just like making asado negro, and this would be on a plate. Mm. Take me back, way back.